Good morning, Zach from Muscles and Veggies here, and I wanted to give you guys my simple at home in your living room rubber band full body workout. This video is for my weekly accountability group that you see on the screen here. Uh, we just started this during the pandemic to give people something to tune in and get our minds right for the week. Uh, every week, Sunday night, we go over different topics like nutrition, uh, stress and depression, anxiety, gut health, metabolism you name it, uh, and it's completely free, it's donation-based. If you would like more information on that, email me at musclesandveggies at gmail. So we're going to use an app called Tabata Timer, and you'll notice here that the workout, the work period is 20 seconds, the rest period is 10 seconds, and we have seven total cycles. Uh, and that's what we're going to do for each body part. We're going to start with chest, which will be some push-ups. Uh, then we're gonna move into squats. Then we're gonna move into back. Then we're gonna move into bicep, tricep. And then we're gonna finish with abs. This is gonna be about 15 minutes. And the, the goal here is not to uh, kill ourselves or anything like that. The goal here is just to signal muscle. So we're just sig signaling that muscle uh, that we're using it, we're building it, and we don't want to lose it, but we also want to stimulate our metabolism. Let's get started here. What you're going to do is uh, start up your Tabata Timer app, and then simply just start the app. It starts counting down from 10 seconds to get ready. So we're going to go right into our push-ups. Grab my band here. We're just really focused on good form. Again, you're not trying to go as fast as you possibly can, but you're just really focused on good form and activating the chest muscle. Coming down to that 20 second mark. So I want you to think of it in terms of how do I activate my chest? Put your shoulders in your back pockets. Here we go again. Suck those shoulders down and push through your back. Push through your lats. Keep your core nice and tight. You don't even have to use a rubber band on these if you don't want to. You can also do them like this on your knees. But we're just moving and activating muscle. 10 second rest. Again, shake out your shoulders. Get ready to go. Three, two, one. And as this gets harder, don't be afraid to get down on your knees. Don't be afraid to take rest in between reps. Uh, just do the best you can. The more you do this yeah, workout, the easier anymore. it will be as you continue to do it. You'll notice less reps or less rest in between reps, uh, things like that. Here we go. This is where it starts to get challenging. If you have to get down on your knees, if you have to alternate, that's totally fine. Just focusing on activating muscle. Come on, come on.
Okay, chest is over with. Now we're going to move into back. What you're going to do is grab a band. And there's multiple ways you can do this. You can attach this to an elevated position and pull down. Or, for simplicity, what we're going to do is just hook it to your feet like this. Okay, grab, start your timer, and we're just going to row towards us, just like this, okay? Nice straight back, core tight, good, row, pull your chest open and out, pull your shoulders back and down. This is really good for your posture. We do a lot of movement in the front, driving, driving, riding, typing, anything you do, we're doing it up here. We're not doing a whole lot back here. So that's what this is all about, strengthening those rear muscles, your rear shoulders, your mid-back, sucking those shoulder blades down. I always like to tell people, Act like you're putting your scapulas in your back pockets. Good. Rest. Breathe. Again, keep that nice upright posture. Keep your core tight. No slouching. Pull that chest open. You guys can see this from the side. Nice, good posture, legs out wide. Here we go, three, two, one. Row. Pull that chest open. Suck those shoulder blades back and down. Okay, now we're going to go into squats. So again, grab yourself a band. I want you to wrap it around your neck. And you also don't have to use a band for this. You can also just do typical air squats without a band. Okay. I'm going to use a band. So start your timer. Set up. It's going to simply wrap that around your neck. Make sure it's not pulling your neck. Get it up around your shoulder blades. Squat. Keep 
keep your back nice and straight, core tight. And again, you're not in a race as how many reps you can do in 20 seconds. You're focused on quality reps. You're trying to get better at the movement as you do it. Nice straight back. Press through the floor. Okay, here we go. Biceps, triceps. So, grab a lighter band. I'm gonna use the black band on this one. And you're just gonna stand both feet on the band. And here, we're going to alternate every round. One round is biceps, one round is triceps. The bicep curls are pretty standard, easy stuff. You can use just about any bench for these. What you're going to do is drop down, bench. Just a dip, just like this. Okay? You can do these just about off anything. You can find a little ledge for a scoop. Just like this. Okay. Here we go. Let's get started. Start your timer. First round is bicep curls. Step on your band. Stand up straight. Curls. Nice and smooth. 
take everything else out of it. You notice my torso isn't moving, my shoulders aren't moving. Just contraction of that bicep, nice and smooth. You're just trying to create that burn in this 20 seconds. Going into triceps. Get in position. Three, two, one. 20 second dips. Okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Three seconds. Come on. Good. Back into bicep curls. Step on your band. Yeah, nice and smooth. Don't let those elbows move. You're just using that bicep muscle. Three seconds. Come on. Two. One, good. Back into triceps. Here we go. Let's go to work. Pull those shoulders back, chest open. Don't start hunching forward like this. Pull back, chest up. Shoulders behind you. Oh yeah, it's burning now. Three, two, one. Woo! Come on. <clears throat> Bicep curls. Let's go. Good posture. See how nothing's moving? My elbow isn't moving, shoulders aren't moving. It's just the hinge of the elbow. That's the only thing that's moving. Here we go, back into dips. Keep that good posture. Biceps, last round right here. Good, squeeze, 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 good posture. You're not moving anywhere else. Focusing on muscle contraction with good form. Come on, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, y'all. Nice job. Come on. We got one last Tabata round, and we are going to do some abs. So what I like to do on this one is alternate back and forth between crunches and leg lifts. And so the first round we're going to do is crunches. Go ahead and start your timer. Countdown. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Crunches. Nice muscular contraction in your abs. You're not using your hip flexors. You're just using these ab muscles. So I'm not putting any tension on my feet or my legs to do this movement. I'm just crunching up. Twist my ab rest. Now we're going to go into leg lifts. Okay, legs completely straight out, totally pointed. We're just going to lift up and try to get your butt off the ground. So you're doing basically a crunch, but it's a reverse crunch. It's coming from this way instead of this way. Okay? So pull that butt off the ground. Crunch up. You're not using your hip flexors. You're feeling it in your abs, not in your hips. Okay? 
Going back into crunches. Let's go. Go. Feeling that muscular contraction right here in my top set abs. Come on. Come on. Everybody's got abs. They're just underneath there. Relax. We just got to uncover them. And you don't uncover them just in a workout. You uncover them in the kitchen. Leg lifts. Here we go. Six-pack abs are made in the kitchen. Pull that butt off the floor. Oh yeah, burn it. Come on. Relax. We're going back into crunches. Don't, don't let up right now. Keep good form. Ah, yeah. I like to exhale on my way up. hips. Last set of crunches right here, y'all. Last set. Come on. Get pumped up. Good form. Good form. Feel that. Get nice and tight. Every rep. Exhale on the way up. Session, arms, legs, chest, abs, back, you name it. So, I'm not going to take up much of your time other than saying thank you for joining me. Hope you are energized. I know it's a tough 16 minutes, but it is a fantastic way to stimulate your metabolism, build some muscle, and cultivate some energy for the day. So, hope you guys have a great day. Zach with muscles and veggies. Ouch.